Hello everybody, this is Phony Toe Bobbin here, and welcome back to Train Simulator 3, where today we're going to be grabbing trains. Well, obviously this is trains, where we grab trains. So, well, we'll try to, what kind of train we're grabbing? Well, today we're going to be in Australia, we're going to be on the SAR Peter, Petersboro route. And uh, also, not only are we grabbing on the SAR Petersboro route, we are grabbing a different type of train than what we've driven in the last two. So, our first video on Train Street was on the Europi Speed, driving an electric train. Then we went to the Rocky Mountains to drive a diesel train. So, to even all out, we're going to be driving a steam train. That is right. We're doing the Steam Express scenario in the SSAR Petersburg. And in case you're wondering, this is default content. You will get this with Train Simulator 3 as base content. Now, this this the the, uh, the main locomotive in this route is the, uh, is the QR2100, but... To diesel, and like I said, I want to balance it out, so we're gonna be doing some speed, some steam power today. <laughs> so, today we're gonna to be doing the scenario, uh, Steam Express NSWGR Class Fifty Nine. Today you are running a passenger service with a historic locomotive that is that design or that's designed is a variation on the USATC S two hundred Class Mikado, a design which first appeared in nineteen forty one. So, steam power. Now, a um, couple things I want to mention before we begin. I'm going to be doing this whole scenario in easy mode. Unlike last time, I tried to do easy, I tried to do it in realistic mode and failed miserably. And uh, so we're going, to do this entirety, we're going to be doing the entirety of this thing in easy mode. So without further ado, let's begin. So I don't like how the game keeps doing the same thing. Anyways, it's time. It's time for Trains 3 once again. All right. So loading up. I'm going to scenario or get an image of the... Rostia. We will return to this train, but not anytime soon. Okay, camera's a bit jumpy. I don't know why that is. Alright, here we go. Okay, so selection is in a can I use control, which I don't think is true. Getting any sound? Train's awfully quiet. Okay. Okay, you have six power stops. Six power stops. Okay. So six power stops during the today. Be sure to wait until all the power are on board for away from each station. Oh no, we're getting sound. We're getting sound. Okay, so you have six passes stops to make along the way, right? Okay, so we're we able to clear. We're good to go now. Or we have to wait. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, so this train is actually sort of American. And see, this here appears to be rough. If we zoom out, you'll see this map is absolutely huge. Look at that. It's so big that the camera doesn't even want to get the whole thing in view. But yeah, look. This. Route is absolutely huge. You can do some really long journeys on this one. Look at this. Look at how. Oh my god. You spend a million years driving on this route. Okay, so I guess we're clear to go. Uh, let's bring this back up though. There we go. I guess we're clear to go. Alright, let's do this. Steam train. Nope, I want to hit the. Hang on. There we go. That's a weird bell sound. Anyways. Power. Is that our red? No, we're green. We're good to go. Anyway, SR Peters, but I haven't actually driven on this route yet. So, this is going to be a new experience for me. Like an all new experience. Oh anyway, yeah, we're driving a steam train today. So, for all you steam enthusiasts... You definitely get a kick out of this one. And like I said, this is default content. So if you download this game, you will get this train included. I hear another steam train somewhere, but I guess... Here's a cab view. It's actually not that well detailed. I'm guessing this slope move is from an earlier era of this game because... Yeah. The detail on this one isn't great. It's definitely... This one looks a bit more old-fashioned. I mean, just last week we were driving a train that just looks super pretty and had a million details. Now I've gone to a train that doesn't look as much or doesn't look, look so good. Let's not say it's bad. It still looks all right, but yeah, you can definitely tell that. Or tell you can definitely tell that 
the interior detail is a, quite a bit of a downgrade from what we're used to at this point. So hopefully the recording is going smoothly. Uh, I had a bit of troubles. I think it's, oh, you're speeding. Didn't even notice. Didn't even realize we're speeding there. So here we go with another episode of trying to find the consistency. Luckily, though, we don't have a we have a while to go yet until the next speed limit change. So. We just said a speed would be fine. So let's try 90% total. And. Oh, speed a little bit. Okay, 89%. Alright, you know, 81%. No, 89%. Okay, 80% it is then. But yeah, this route is, in terms of size, this route is huge. So, if you like your long journeys, well, this route is definitely for you. So where are we actually where are we going then? We're going this way, okay. So I assume okay, we're probably not going oh no, we are going this whole way. Oh, okay. So we've got another thing I want to mention is long videos. Now so a couple weeks ago I uploaded the Train Street Rocky Mountain video. That video turned out to be an hour and fifteen minutes long. And yet it still got a good amount of views. You know, I thought that the video length would, you know, scare off a few viewers. Being, you know, they would look at that and be like, "Oh, this video is so long. I don't have time for this." But no, so people still watched it. So, okay then. More longer videos coming. This could be another one of those. Cause, yeah. Unfortunately, unlike the Rocky Mons video, I actually have all the time of the day in the world. So no matter how long the scenario is, well, don't worry. Anyways, welcome to the Outback. This is this is Australia. And I mean the developers should know as the as MPV Games is based in Australia. And we have six passenger stops today? How long is that gonna take? But yeah, another thing I another thing I should mention Yeah, I may already mentioned this once, but I won't say it again, I have not driven this frog yet, so this is all new experience to me. Okay. Also, today is my mission to get five out of five stars. Do I have a path of view in this one? No. And path of view is a bit rare in this game. Let's go fly by and take out a whole train. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, the camera in this game is a bit. Sound like trains. Two. And here comes our train. That looks a bit weird. Oh, never mind. It's, it's normal. Here it comes. Also, is it just me or are the shuffling sounds out of sync with the actual drive rod movement? And as we've seen our locomotive, let's look at our coaches now. So we have a first class coach. Another first class coach. This one's a bit special because the one side is weird. Now we have a few second class coaches. I think they all look identical. Yeah, I think they're all the same. Ooh, it's taillight still. That's pretty neat. Grade crossing. Okay, really though, floating roads. Come on, guys. I don't know why they've never been able to sort that out. Look at this. This route or this this road is actually floating in the air. Are you kidding me? This is a default route, by the way. Actually, all the routes in this game are default because at the moment there is no download station. For some reason, the screens went a bit dark. Anyway, there is no download station in this game. 
So, the only routes that you can actually drive on are the default routes and the DLC routes. And by DLC, I mean payware DLC routes. You do also get uh, the remastered Scenic Country USA route for free, but that's it. So, definitely looking forward to the day that this game gets a route editor and stuff. And M3V have said themselves this game will get a route editor someday. Actually, I guess if I were to answer the question of when is it going to get all these features, I suspect it's going to be once Trains Railroad Simulator 2022 is done. So, I actually did a bit of research on Trains Railroad Simulator 2022. And the story is, the final, the full final release of the game isn't out yet. However, it is in beta. So... I guess if if I was to answer the question like at the moment on the day that I'm recording this, of whether Trains Railroad Simulator 2022 is released or is out yet, and the answer to that is yes and no. So you can buy the game, but if you're buying the if you're gonna buy the game right at this moment, you're gonna be buying it in beta. You will not have the final product yet. And I guess this is because MVV want to test out you know their new features. I mean, Trains 2022 is quite a revolution from the previous games. You know, I mean, you have multiplayer Surveyor, yep. All new Surveyor, Surveyor 2.0 is here. Um, and generally, other changes that could be coming to Trains 2022. Ooh, what's this? Looks like they're going to build a road here. Hmm. That looks cool. Oh, wait, no, that's a different track. Ooh, a future railway line extension. That looks interesting. Here's the thing, though. Everything that is coming in Trains Railroad Simulator 2022 is going to be implemented into Trains Simulator 3 on mobile. So, you know, things like Multiplayer Surveyor, Surveyor 2.0, all the things, all the cool bells and whistles that are coming to Trains 2022, those are also going to be coming to Trains 3 one day. So what I assume is that the N3 of you want to test out how all these new features are going to work in Trains 2022. And then once they perfect them in Trains 2022, they're then going to try to bring them into Trains 3. Now, so Trains Railroad Simulator 2022. Um, another thing about that though, N3V have not put out an exact release date. There is no precise release date. For trains railroad similar 2022 the best thing that we have is March and I say this because I was gonna be speaking oh I'm not oh my goodness I still on a right at the speed of the dropped Wow also there's a red light here Ugh. okay I guess this is the thing in all the scenarios every single scenario you ever play there's gonna be a red light at the end of every season stop okay anyway as I was saying um Anyway, here we are at Yongala, first station stop of the day. Also, the brakes thing are not that gr Oh, no. This thing is an easy mode. I literally chose easy mode because of these awful brakes, and now we're in easy mode and still not slowing down. Yeah, we'll be fine. We're fine. But yeah, as I was saying, Trains 2022 officially isn't out yet, so... Um, as I said though, so I know I just said, oh, the closest thing we have is March, and I and I get the information from a uh, from a detail on the um, on their website. So one of the routes coming to trains 2022 is a German route, and that route is set to release in March, according to them. So I wonder if March is also the release date for the full game of Trains Railroad Simulator 2022. Also, we're clear to go. By the way, if you hear some noise outside, that's some snow plows. Uh, we recently just had another snowstorm here, so everyone's out clearing the snow. Nothing can really do about it. Well, maybe there's. I probably could have closed my window. Eh. But yeah, 
as I said, uh, snowstorm just happened here, so that's why you'll hear some machines outside clearing the snow away. Meanwhile, here we're in Australia. Yeah, so so here it's winter. Meanwhile, in Australia, it's summertime. You can go a little bit faster than this. Now, I don't notice a timetable here, so. I guess it doesn't matter how or when we get to the station. It just matters if we get to the station at all. Which will just decide well, how, you know, whether we score points or not. Because we want to speed here. 70 is coming up, so we'll be able to go back up to that. So I think 88% throttle is going to be like the sweet spot to not speed in this area. Also, we have consistent speed limits here. Yay! Okay, oh, here we go. Yep. Speed, yeah, that's what I'm trying to avoid here. Okay, so it's 50 on these low 25s, and then it's 88 or something on the 70s. Okay, here we go. Oops. Come on, 88. Here we go. Alright, next station. Well, we're doing pretty good. So far, I haven't gotten any penalties. I don't think. I was speeding for a brief moment, but... It didn't apply the emergency brakes. So I think we got away with it. It was only a minor speeding infraction, so nothing nothing major. And that's also a bit of win. That's Mr. Bangy. <laughs> Mr. Bangy, living up to his name. So, safe to say this was going to be another long one, but as I said earlier, you guys seem to like these long videos, so I'm also going to stay outside for most of this journey. Um, oh, come on, guys. What is it with these weird crossings? So, anyways, what else we're talking about? Um, yeah. Um, so I guess I'm going to be out, I'm, I'm going to be on the exterior for most of this journey, but if you guys would like to, if you guys would like me to do a video where I show off like the interiors and stuff of like steam trains or whatever, if guys are interested in that, then let me know. I might try to master driving one of these things and, well, actually I don't have to master, I can just do a free roam thing. Or something. I think they do actually have that as like a tutorial, so... I'll look at that in the future. But for right now, we're just going to be playing scenario things. Um, anyway, this one's number 5909. Oh my goodness, if you remove the 5, this ending, this ending would have the same number as Ted. Oh, also, though, you can see clearly see the end of the world. Really, guys? Actually, how wide? It's not very wide. I mean, okay, look at that. So, if we turn to head over to the right, look at that. You can clearly see the end of the world. Stuff like that. I mean, okay, I can kind of understand it in this case, because this is a big route. So, you don't want to have the, you know, you don't have too many tiles, because otherwise, you know, the more tiles you have, the longer this game is going to take to load, so... I can understand that for like performance reasons, but it breaks the immersion. The immersion. So, I mean, eh, I guess I can let him get, get away with it because, again, it's a big route. I mean, look at this thing, it's huge. Has anyone actually ever driven this the entirety of this route before, by the way? Like, like, not in, like, a scenario, but things. Like, anyone who's watching this video who's played this game or some other game where this route is in, 
Have you actually ever driven the entirety of this route? Or... Or is it just too big? I, I will probably drive the entirety of this route someday. Just for the fun of it. Like, I'll, 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 I'll find the longest route. Or the longest direction thing. The, the, the longest sausage on this whole route. And maybe I'll drive it. Maybe, like, a live stream or something. Or... Yeah, well, it'll have to be a live stream. There's no way you guys would watch a video that long, would you? I don't know. Okay. I'm uh, open to suggestions. Let's take a listen to the grunts on these coaches. They're certainly interesting. Hmm. Well, thing is, this this line has most single tracks, so unfortunately, we're not gonna see any AI trains for a while. Now there are AI trains coming up, but we're not gonna see them until we actually get there. Because. This line being mostly single track. I think it's all single track. I was about to comment that this game would be oh we can you know that's you can't really see the end of the world. Well you can't really see it from this view, but if you look up oh yeah. The end of the world's right there. Not a big fan. I said I can understand why. I was understand. Although I can't understand this. Hang on. Look at how wonky the track is. Now that I don't understand at all. Hang on. I gotta get off the train for a minute. No, stop. What is this? This is unacceptable. You really could make a whole new asset. You really were like, yeah, let's take an old existing asset and just use that. Perfect. Another thing, this may be a silly question, but is this route also available in trains where it was in 2019? I've never played that. I've never played 22. I never will because it's 22. You know, I was actually doing a bit of research as well. On, uh, on trains, railroad similar 2019, and when I did, it was actually on a discount, and you could buy the game for as low as $17, but I've decided that I'm not going to be getting trains 2019, I will instead just go right up to trains 2022, because here's the thing, why would you buy the previous version of a game that is about to release, you know? doesn't really make any sense see and the thing is right trains 2019 is actually pretty similar to trains 2000 or trains 2000 trains a new era like i think the biggest thing from trains a new era to trains 2019 was the improvement in the graphics and probably for the quality of life features but for the most part i don't think trains 2019 was that different from trains a new era whereas with trains 2022 ooh. Here we go. We got a new you know, a new surveyor, multiplayer surveyor. Oh, hello. Message of the day. Did you know when in free mode, use two fingers to just gesture will rotate your camera? Really? Well, no kidding. Actually, it doesn't matter really if you use two fingers or one finger. You can actually use one finger and still do the gesture and thingy diggy that they were just talking about. Okay, here we go with the slowdown stuffs again. I don't know, boring scenario so far. Oh, what is this? What is that? Oh, the track hasn't. The track didn't load up. 
Really? Yeah, the draw distance kind of sucks. For some reason. Anyway, second stop of the day, Bal Balali North. Second stop of the day. So, yeah, but I decided to go for a steam engine because, well, first of all, it was available. And I haven't actually done that much steam stuff on this channel, but... Um... I guess one thing I should say, I'm not all that interested in steam power, you know? I know that steam engines are, like, like the big reason why we're in trains in the first place. And you ask most real fans, and they're likely going to say that their favorite train is, like, is probably a steam engine. And then you have real fans that they're interested only in steam engines. Like they like they're super super interested in just steam power, and steam power only. They don't really care that much about anything else. I'm the opposite though. I'm more of a fan of like modern stuff. And I'm not like the biggest steam engine person in the world. I mean, I like steam engines. I think they're cool, but I'm not gonna jump up and down over the side of one. I don't know why, but I, I just, I'm just not all that excited over steam engines. And that's why I haven't done that much steam power on this channel. I'm going to do it today because, you know, we've done an electric train, we've done a diesel train, so I figured why not drive a steam train. To be honest, I was considered driving the S, the, the other locomotive at first, but, you know, I was like, eh. Oh, hang on a minute. Okay, um, okay, so enough talk about that for now. Speaking of diesel trains, yeah. Oh, also we gotta slow it down. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh no, we gotta. Okay, we should have slowed a bit more sooner. We gotta. Okay, stop. Slow down and then with the law. Slow down. Oh, we got a speeding penalty. We're fine. We're fine. I think. Anyways, there's a diesel train. And you guys may know this one from trains too. And stuff yeah you sir you're in this game apparently hmm. I have no idea but yeah you can drive this thing <laughs> that sounds that has existed for such a long time wait hold up is that an American tanker car in Australia and okay Okay, Mr. Steam Train, you come to a stop. We need to have a look at this freight train here. Because it is a very peculiar freight train constant indeed. Oh, it's about to take off. Okay, well, we're looking for a before. Okay, first of all, this locomotive. It's been this game for a million years. Why is it still doing around? Got an amazing reskin, though. Although you have this thingy car. Looks like it's old and rubbish. Then we have super high detailed American tanker cars. Then we have whatever this is. This is a default wagon with some modifications, and then you have this. This is the most confusing. And you may have to wait for an incoming train. The line is clear. Proceed. Wait, is that my train? The line is clear. Oh, we're good to go. But yeah, that was the interesting freight train. Weirdest thing I've seen so far. Actually, yes, wait for us. Oh, no, let's continue. Yeah, there's still some old stuff in this game for some reason. Some things. I will say this though, about um sausages. Oh yeah, blue horn. I will say this about about trains. Well, not just trains, but the newer like trains 2019 about about that. Um, one interesting thing. About trains, railroad simulator 2019, and really all future trains, trains games, is that with all the, like the new shading and stuff, they have the ability to make the older content look nicer. You know, especially in this case. Like, I mean, here's Trains Three. This is a mobile game, so basically, 
and 3v have a full say of what trains you play with. Um, what else? Um, yeah. But yeah, the full default rolling song list is certainly an interesting fleet. So you have trains ranging from uh, ranging from new trains that were that were new and trains railroad similar in 2019, all the way to trains that are over 10 years old. I mean, with how long the trains franchise has been around, I think the downstation issue launched in 2002. So. As a result, there are assets on this game. Well, not this game, but the whole Trains franchise that are almost as old as me. Yeah. I actually wonder the age of most of the assets on, on this game. The only thing I can actually identify are the trains, like the, the rolling stock. I can't really say much on the... Uh, the actual visual assets because that was well I don't really know like the details but you guys might know like you guys might be able to look from the selection of assets that you're seeing right now and be like oh that's old or oh that's pretty new or something I'm not that knowledgeable and then some of you might not even care you'll be like oh this train looks a bit old but you know what it's a train so I don't really care <laughs> yeah me I'm a bit more critical though about like the age of trains like if something is new, you know, I'm gonna use it. Now, that being said, if something is old, I'll still use it if it exists. Unless there's a better version available. Like, if, like I will say, if there's a better version of something that already exists that is better, I'll use that instead. Unless it's payware. Although, in the case of mobile games, I'll still get it to payware. Now, another thing we're saying. So all three trains, three vids I made so far have been with all the base content. However, starting in the next train three video, we're going to begin to uh, do some stuff on some non-base content. So look up on that. So, I've actually been debating on what I want to do though with with these videos, and I've actually come to a decision. I guess I might as well mention that right now. So, with Trains 2, that game will be making its return to the channel, but there's been a reason why I've sort of, like, hold back getting back into Trains 2. And the reason is because, not only am I on a brand new iPad, I'm also on a brand new Apple account, which is my own account. You know, for years I've been using Mommy's account to buy stuff, but now that I have my own money, I'm using my own account now, so... But I was using the I was trying to use the family sharing so this way I could be able to get all the app stuff and I want to buy any of them again. Unfortunately, that's not quite going to work because um, because with family sharing you can get most apps, but you can't get in-app purchases. So I was able to get the base game of Train Similar 2 itself, but I wasn't able to download any of the DLCs. That I had before. So then I was thinking, well, all right, then do I buy everything all over again? Do I try to do some stuff? I've actually come to a decision. At this point, I am likely to go with just buying them again, because first of all, these DLCs are pretty cheap. You know, you know, it's ninety nine cents a pop for most of them, and then it's up to two dollars for others. I decided that I'm going to just buy them all, buy them again. This way. If I ever want, if I ever want to move to like another iPad or something and start from scratch again, then it'll be easier. In the sense that I'll just be able to re-download everything. So now I'm a real penny pincher, especially when it comes to buying things twice. But I think I am at least willing to spare some more money in this case. But that's down the line. 
another thing is with Drains 3. What about the DLC choice in this game? Well, I'm just gonna buy it. You know, I've been I've been waiting a little bit. The only thing that I've actually paid for so far is a um, ironically the locomotive that you're gonna see in the next Drains 3 video. I purchased that. But other than that, I've just been messing around with all the base content. However, pretty soon I am going to start buying some more DLCs. So, as far as what I'll be buying, I'm going to be buying all of the DLC routes and a few DLC trains. Now, there's two different types of like DLCs in this game. You have DLC routes and DLC trains. So, routes is routes. Okay, you get routes, you get sessions, you get trains, and all that stuff. But then there are DLCs where you only get a train, and you get to play with that train on one of the default routes. As far as the train DLCs, I am only going to be buying the ones that I find to be particularly interesting. I'm going to be buying all of them. I'll only be buying ones that I find to be interesting. If I don't find something to be interesting, then I won't buy it. The only way that I could buy something that I don't have yet is by popular demand. Like if you guys, if there's, if there's like a whole bunch of you that say, Oh, Frony, you should do a video on this train, then maybe I'll do it. But for right now, I'm just going to buy the DLC that I that I think is interesting to me. Or, or okay, I'm going to be buying the DLC that is interesting to me. But I will consider buying... Um, I will consider buying other DLC that I don't find to be interesting, but maybe you find it to be interesting. So, yeah. Now you do, you know, do hold your horses though, because pretty soon I'm gonna be putting together a bit of a roadmap. Uh, this roadmap is gonna be private, by the way. You guys won't be able to see it. But I'm gonna be putting together a roadmap of train three videos that I will be making. Now, as far as what I'm gonna do, as far as train three content. Since I recently just started making videos on this game, I'm going to be exhausting as many, as much as I can, as far as like the content availability in this game. Once I've done as many videos as I can on as many different trains and routes as I can, I'm going to be putting this game away for a little bit. Because there's like, what else, what else can I do as far as videos? I, I, because eventually I'm just going to be recycling content and stuff. However, that doesn't say we'll be playing the way of this game forever. And 3 v have said that they will be implementing a route editor and other things in this game into the future. So once I put away this game, I will return to it once those features are added. So once we get the server 2.0, once we get the multiplayer server, really, once we get any type of, of route surveyor is when I'm going to start making videos on this game again. So there might be a bit of a break in videos on Trains 3, unless n 3 v decide to add those things in. Whilst I'm like on my saga of videos, then you're gonna see videos on this game for quite a while. <coughs> Ooh, Jamestown is coming up. Hey, we have multiple towns in uh, in in the northeast named Jamestown. Oh, balls! And there goes my earbud. It's full of I think it's one of the four. Balls. Yeah, I'm still using these earbuds, by the way, but I haven't got much choice. And yeah, speaking of my earbuds, this might be my last video having to record with these stupid things. As I have some money coming in pretty soon, so I'll be able to buy some buy a proper headphone jack and I'll be able to use my Volga earphones that I use for my computer. Cause honestly, I do not like these Bluetooth headphones at all. I really don't. I'm only using them because I have to, not because I want to. So I can't wait to get uh, a headphone jack and then not have to use these earbuds anymore but sadly until I do get the headphone jack I will have to I don't know if I use these headphones or I could just have the I could just have the sound come right directly from my iPad but that's gonna just it's gonna get on against the microphone and the video's gonna sound bad so you know I have the video game monitor recording be recorded completely separately from my microphone so that's why Train. 
So next season stop is coming up pretty soon. And what? We're not gonna have a red light? Uh, you know, I actually thought that back in the Rocky Mountain scenario at one point, and then the scenario, and then the light turned red at the second I got there. So, um, signal is clear now, but I guarantee you it's gonna turn red once we get there. Oh my! <sighs> N3V, what is this? What is this janky track laying? Really? That's another reason to get a surveyor, because N3V can't even play their own game. I mean, holy moly. I know that building routes isn't the easiest thing to do in the world, but come on. And this is a first party route, by the way. This was made by the devs who made this game in the first place. I would think that the people actually making the game would be the ones to, ma you know, mask their own craft, but no. They can't even do that. Anyway, here's this QR thing in particular again. This time it's got a passenger train. So, hey, another train to look out for. We're going to go right or left? We're going to go right. Okay. Hello, Mr. Passenger Train. Let's look at it for a minute. Is this a green model? No. Is it? I don't think it is. Man, look at these coaches. <laughs> they couldn't even be bothered to make all new assets for this game, so they were like, eh, let's just reuse some old stuff. But look at that! No stopping thing. Also, this station stream looks interesting. Is that a cat truck? It is. No, is it? I can't see. I'll look at it in a minute. I guess nothing to ask. Is this, what's the time set for this bro? Is it set in the present day or is it in the past? Okay, bring her to a stop. Now, I want to give a close inspection to this on this tractor. Ooh, the DJ likes looks pretty nice, although it says... Oh, it just says Dozer. No, it's not Caterpillar. It's just... A knockoff. Okay. And look at this beautiful-looking bus. That is just... Oh, my goodness. That is just the best detail I've ever seen in a bus in all my life. Look at it. It's literally just a square. Everything looks... Horrible, but look at it. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> Why? Oh, are we clear to go? Uh, I guess I heard the thing going. <gasps> so I guess we're ready to go now. <laughs> yes, that was my bad interpretation of the whistle. All right, next stop. I tell you what, though, this route, the assets certainly look interesting. Anyway, what is the history of this route? And I don't mean in real life, I mean what is the history of this route in, like, trains, history of trains. Well, let's see, this route wasn't in trains in an era. I believe this was actually a new route. In fact, I think all of the, um, of the... Of the default routes in this game were also default routes in trains 20, 20 I, I have no idea I should know these things though why, why, why haven't I looked it up or right, you know what how about this it's a good thing that I just happened to be sitting right in front of my computer actually I'm literally recording this on my computer desk so what I can do is go and look it up because I have no idea you know what is trains uh is trains 2018 still on sale 
It's you know what? If you guys shout me loud enough, I might just get that game just for the fun of it. Anyway, Trains 2019. I'm gonna see what is actually including the base content for this game. Okay. So you have the standard edition. Uh Let's see. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, Canadian Rockies. Wait, is that the Rocky Mountain route? It's Canadian? Nah, it can't be. Um, I have no idea. So... Oh, it's okay. All right, I have no idea. You guys are gonna have to explain that one to me. Okay, so you have Europe High Speed, Rocky Mountains, and SR Peterborough. Those are the main three routes included with this game. You also say Kickstarter County, but that route was like. I know that route was, I like, think initially, initially came with Trenton here. But as for these other three, I have no idea. So the question, I raised the question. Are these routes actually new to trains, or, well, new to trains? Or are these routes from previous games, but made as default content in this game? You know, I'll look that up as well. Alright, so we'll start with trains, Europe, I... Speed. Might as well look these things up whilst I drive. Oh, hey, that's my video. <laughs> yes. Oh, I can't really look it up. Ooh, that looks. Hmm. But yeah, I'm not sure. I can't say. I think these routes might be just routes that are exclusive to Train Street, but I have no idea. So I'm gonna need you guys to maybe shine some information, like. Like, if you're a trains expert and you know, like, a lot of things that there is to know about trains, tell me the story of these routes. You know, tell me the story of the three default routes in Trains 3. You know, the Europe High Speed, the Rocky Mountains, and the SR Peterborough. Are, were these routes... Were these routes in any previous trains games? Or are these routes exclusive to Trains 3 on mobile? You guys get to tell me that. Because I have no idea. I know the trains were, at least. Like, the Rocky Mountain Express, that was the cover train in Trains... Trains 2019. You then had, um... The... What was it called? You then had the, uh... The e e ETR Ferocia. That train was a D. I was train actually. I think that that train was initially DLC for Trains in the Era, and then it was poured over to Trains 2019. And I believe every other train in this game is actually available on the download station for free, or payware, or maybe it's a, from a different thing. But I know all these trains are older. But as for the routes, I have no idea. As I said, I, um... Oh, hold up. Uh-oh. Man, oh my goodness. I'm so busy thinking about train stuff that I'm like, I might even pay attention to speed limits anymore. You know, Russell play. Russell owns Trains 2018. I might have to ask him.
You know, I don't own trains to 2019, but I do know someone that does. You know what? I'm I'm gonna be on a show with him tomorrow, so I'll be able to ask him then. As I, said, I wouldn't know because I don't own Trains 2019, and I will not be getting Trains 2019 because of Trains 2022. But I am at least curious. What is the story? You know what? If I find out. I might pin a comment or something saying this of the routes. I know I'm just going on all these different sausages and things, talking about random stuff, but with how long this scenario was, I've talked about something. You know, I could just edit this out, sure, but I kind of, you know, I want you guys to see this stuff. And, you know, I'm sure you guys want to see this stuff as well, so. You know, I'm basically, I've basically become one of those YouTube guys where it's like, you must see everything. And so, in showing you everything, I cannot make any cuts. That being said, though, this is the struggle of recording such a long video. You begin to talk about things that are just weird. But I'm definitely looking forward to trains 2022. I guess one more question you guys might be asking is when am I going to get trains 2022? And the answer is likely going to be around the 2022 holidays. That's because I am I don't really want to pay full price for trains 2022. I would rather I mean the game isn't even on Steam yet. You can only buy it from the official Trains Portal store. So, I'm going to be waiting a little bit. Wait until the game releases, and then I'm going to wait until the holidays when the game goes on sale. That's when we be buying it, and and on a bit of luck, hopefully I'll have a new computer by then as well. Another thing I want to mention, the multiplayer surveyor, I have some ideas for that. And I was actually reading up on other things with the Trains 2022 Severe 2.0, and it's it's actually really exciting. I'm actually looking forward to getting my hands into it. I actually have no idea how the Trains um, the Trains 2 Severe 2.0 works, but I'm definitely looking forward to figuring it all out. Sure, I could just spend seventy dollars and get to the game in beta, but as I said before, I'm a penny pincher. I don't like to buy things unless I absolutely have to or absolutely want to. Okay, we'll be going for nearly an hour. We've stopped at actually this is gonna be our fourth station stop coming up. And that's enough. You know, I said this last time. I might as well say it again. I really wish that M3V would tell you the scenario duration on the menu screen. Uh, Cal Toei is next. Yeah, I'm only at two stars, but I guess that's gonna so early in the scenario. Maybe as we get later into the scenario, we'll start to, get, start, to get, start to get more points. So, what else do I have to say? Well, um, not much actually. <laughs> Um, yeah. Not much else I can really say, actually. Uh, I guess there's something else, though, that's worth mentioning, though. This is related to YouTube, by the way, well, my YouTube channel. So, uh, last week I uploaded three videos. But I'm, I'm still talking about two of them. So you had the trains, the train of ATS 
two, but yeah, episode number two. And then later in that week, I uploaded the um, the car show video. And the car show video basically. Yep, I know. Okay, well there we go. I'm gonna lose points for that. Well, there goes my perfect score. Yeah, this train is horrible brakes. By Okay, well, unfortunately, we won't be getting a perfect score today. Oh, well. Maybe next time. How is this? Train! Uh. Oh, boss. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, I was doing so good, too. The passenger train. Ah, don't worry. I'll get a perfect score someday. I promise it'll happen. These speedless just come right up on you. So unfortunately, we're not going to get a perfect score. We're probably going to get 4 out of 5 stars like we did last time. Ironically, the reason why we didn't get a perfect score last time was because they got caught up, caught up by, a, by a speed limit sign. And the exact same thing has happened here. So that sucks. We were going so nicely too. <laughs> ah, well. It was about to happen. Anyways. That's not really cool. Actually, it is. <laughs> um, like I said, though, I uploaded two videos. Up, well, three videos. But so I uploaded a train VTS two video and also uploaded that car show video. Everyone watched the the train train VTS video. Like that view, or that view, that video just blew up as soon as it released. Meanwhile, the car show video did nowhere near as good. It was just terrible, and I don't. I understand why at this point, and. This is why car content on the front of the Legion channel is going to be more of a rarity going forward. Because no one watches those videos. Um, of course, I still have to finish up the NRL season. But once I get that done, that's going to be it. That's going to be pretty much it for car content. Now, I do have a bit of an idea for the future. As I do actually plan on making a separate channel for that kind of stuff. I'll let you guys know when that happens. But for right now... Yeah. Alright, two stages of stops to go. So, what else? Uh, can't think of much else to talk about. Oh yeah, okay, then there was a third video I uploaded last week. A meme video. The Santa Fe train derailment video by the time it's fall. That meme video. Uh, you may have noticed that video isn't available to view anymore, and that's because it got taken down by copyright. Yeah. Virtual Rail Fan themselves did a copyright strike on that video and were able to take it down. So, to the date of me recording this video right now, I have sent Virtual Rail Fan an email. Because I believe that it was a false copyright takedown. Because, well, I listened to my reasons. But, I mean, it should be easy. It should be easy to understand anybody, you know, who understands how YouTube works. Well, copyright works, I should say. So, I have sent an email to, um, to Virtual Rail Fan. And, um... Uh, I will be definitely looking forward to their response. <laughs> so, so I have a bit of a plan. Now, like I said, I have contacted Virtual Rail Fan about the takedown. Uh, I've stated that the that the cover takedown was unjustified, and um, we'll have to see how they respond. Now, 
if virtual real fan agree with me and decide to let the video go back up then yeah the video will go back up however if virtual real fans stand by their copyright thing and they don't let the video go back up what I will do instead is I will re-upload the video but I'm gonna edit in such a way and title in such a way that virtual real fan won't won't even be able to take it down you know basically I might put it like a bit of a copyright box or I'm gonna it, well I'm gonna put a cup I might put in a copyright box but what I will definitely do is I'm gonna just I'm gonna completely just distort the video to a point where it's just nearly unrecognizable from the source footage. Like I'm gonna mirror it, I'm gonna put, make all these weird colors, I'm gonna completely ruin the sound of the video. So this way, virtual rail fan, it will be much harder for them to actually take the video down. If they still take it down though, I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna be a bit surprised. Although maybe I'll wait a little bit though if before I do that because I don't want to risk getting a second copyright strike because then oh boy my channel's gonna be in trouble. So, so as like I said about the whole distorting thing, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna wait a little bit on that. Um, if I can remember. I mean, eh, I'm not I'm not gonna make a great deal about this video though because, at the end of the day, this is a silly meme video that I made in five minutes. And you know what? That leads on to something else I might as well talk about whilst we're driving this train. What is it? What is going on with all of these train derailments in the United States? This isn't even like a whole worldwide problem. This is all happening in the United States. We've had a number of train derailments. Why? I mean, come on. We've had, I think we've had like two or three incidents where a train has hit a vehicle at a crossing. And just this past weekend, a brand new Amtrak ALC 42 hit a car. So, brand new locomotive is already involved in its first accident. Are you serious? The thing that absolutely baffles me the most is that the year is 2022. Railways slash railroads have been around now for nearly two centuries and yet we still have derailments. We still have accidents. We still have collisions. I thought that after nearly two centuries of derailments, accidents, and incidents we would have made rail travel safer than ever. And we still haven't. Rail travel is still not 100% safe. Every time you're on a train, you're at risk of the train derailing. And chances are you might not even get off the train alive. It's honestly absurd. How after all of this time that we still have accidents and stuff. Now, I do believe that trains are the best type of, of, um, of transport, but... And, no, here's something even worse about the fact that all of these derailments will still be happening. A lot of these derail derailments are easily preventable. And what I mean by that is... Um... Is it seems that there's just so many incidents where a train hits a car on a, on a railroad crossing. Now, railroad crossings are the bane of the existence of the railroad. Because every time, for every railroad crossing, like, ironically, like the one, like this one here, like that, there's always the chance that a car could get stuck on the line. And it just happens to be an oncoming train, and the train hits the car. And, can't, and chances are somebody, somebody gets injured, or even worse, they're dead.
it's why. And the solution to that is very simple. Just build tunnels and bridges. I understand that railroad costs are a lot cheaper than bridges. But bridges are a lot more safer. So, until we get rid of every single railroad costing in the United States or in the whole world, there will always be a chance that a car will get stranded on a train track, a train could hit it, and yeah, it turns into a bad day. So, let's hope our train derailment doesn't happen today. That's what I mean, this train, shall it? Or shall it not? Shall we bang the coaches? <laughs> okay, that, I messed that up, but my point still stands. We, we should just get rid of railroad crossings. Then we'd be in a much better place. I mean, ironically, there's a reason why railroad crossings don't really exist on, um, on high speed lines. You know, the you look at the Northeast Corridor. The only place where there's like a railroad crossing is in, um, is in the Connecticut section. Like all of the, all of the Northeast Corridor's remaining railroad crossings are all in Connecticut. Which just happens to be where the Northeast Corridor goes the slowest. By Connecticut, I mean like the Mystic section, the section between uh, New Rochelle and uh, and Kingston, or no, Westerly. Yeah, Westerly and New Rochelle, New Lo not New Rochelle. No, Westerly and New London, between those two stations on Northeast Quarter is where you'll find the most crossings. Actually, I think it's where we're going to find all of the Northeast Quarter's remaining crossings. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, that was a bit of a rant. But I'm sure you guys will agree with me that something should really be done about these crossings. Especially now with the fact that a brand new locomotive has already had its first accident. And you know what? You want to you know the best part? That ALC 42 that hit that car wasn't even in service for a week. I mean, they just started running them in revenue service on the Empire Builder. Already involved in their first accident. It's a good thing that was a pretty minor one. It was only a car, and the front end, I think the front end was fine. So. Oh, there we go, speeding it out. <laughs> eh, I'm bored. Can't I can't really blame me. The scenario is so long and boring at this point, I don't even care. Ah, well. Don't worry, we'll get a perfect score someday. Just not today. Yeah. Yeah, at this point, the scenario is going to be boring. I really did this scenario where I made this video to showcase this train in this route. But, um, you know, this scenario has just become so boring that I have to talk about things to you know, entertain you guys and entertain myself as well. And welcome to Yangya. Sounds more Asian than it does Australian. Yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I think we're only going to get three stars. Or four, we might still get four stars. 
We'll see. Actually, we may only get two stars. That's fine. <sighs> to be honest, I don't really care how many stars I get. But I will get a perfect score someday, just not here. All right, well, after this, we only have one more station stop to go. But yeah, brand new locomotive already in its first accident. It's just insane. You know, I haven't really talked about my opinions on the ALC 42. We're ready to go now. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't really have an opinion because it's like, it's brand new. Although it's... There's something that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Um, first of all, the, um, there's, there's something a bit interesting because just recently Amtrak painted or painted five of their P42s all on the 50th anniversary paint. And finally Amtrak is going to keep their P, some, well, keep most of their P-42s in service for a little while longer. And the original order of the ALC-42s was for 75 of them. However, I think Amtrak announced an order that they're going to be getting even more of them. So... Yeah, we are likely going to have a future where we're going to have the ALC 42s on just about every long distance Amtrak train that there is, or really any Amtrak train that's currently being pulled by P 42s. <coughs> have I ever really talked about the Amtrak thing? I think I did actually. Yeah, I believe I did talk about this whole subject though in a live stream some time ago. I can't remember which one, but I did a live stream at some point last year, right around the when the announcement was made about my whole thoughts on the whole situation. If anyone's curious to hear my full opinion on like the whole announcement thingy with Diggy, I might go. I might look for the live stream where I talk about that. I think it was either in the uh, the Mariah's Pass uh, live stream, the one with the STB 40F, or it was the one with the um, with the uh, what was it called the the thingy, the the Harlem line, the the, the Hudson line, that one. So, unfortunately, we're not going to get a full score today. I sped twice, and that was all because I was... Both times was because I was distracted. So. Ah, oh, well. So I know this video though is really long, but the next train speed video will likely be shorter. I think. I guess all these scenarios are going to be like an hour long or something. This video is literally, or this scenario is literally over an hour long. I started this an hour and 12 minutes ago, and we're still going. Why I really, really wish that N3B would list the scenario duration right on the thing we take, but they don't. So you have to just play the scenario and then realize how long it is. Ooh, 65 exactly. Nice. But we only have one more stage stop to go, so that should be should get there and then we're gonna be 
done for the day. Ugh. So I do apologize this video was a bit boring. I know this video was more about just me. Ooh. Hello. An old abandoned siding. That looks pretty neat. But yeah, I, I know this video is mostly just me rambling about random topics rather than like actually focusing on the game, but... When we're in a scenario that is as barren as this, and is as long as this... You can't really blame me for struggling to, to find things to talk about. Oh. Another thing, this video is going to take forever to render. Yeah. Rendering this video is going to be fun. I am, here we go, Gladstone. Alright, here we go, final stop of the day. Oh, because I've enjoyed my rant, uh, my rant, well, yeah, some of my rants and my just general me just having a conversation. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed me saying all the stuff, you know, the first off, the debacle about what's the story of these depot routes, then me complaining about the state of modern railroads and how they're where I still having derailments, and other things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> um, sausages. Well, we're almost there. You know what? It's honestly, it's honestly not a bad thing they don't really tell us today because we're almost there. Gladstone, the last stop on this journey. And listen, I'm gonna get two stars. Fine. Like I said, I'll, we'll get a perfect score. Right? So, so. That means it was actually slow down this time. I don't want our score to go too far down. Things I'm not sure when to break. Where are we in this route, anyways? Oh. Not quite there, but. We're, we're, we were getting close to the end of the route. Final destination. I mean, how f how do you want me to go? Also, there's a thingy. Where does that go? Oh, oh. That's going the other way. That's going off to the end of the route. We're not going that far today. Oh, I can see why, because this is technically is where the line ends. Well, here we are. We've been driving for the past hour and 16 minutes. So yeah, this video is going to be just a little bit longer than the last one. And once again, we'll be uploading the whole thing because... Um, because the... Last video that was really long did actually quite well. Oh my goodness, there we go with the stupid gradients. Come on, guys. Like I said, the last long video did really well, so let's see how long this went down with this video, guys. You guys have enjoyed the fact that today we're grabbing a steam train. Yes! What is that? Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh, that train's flipped backwards. Here we are. Final stop. We're not going to get a very good score. To be honest, 
I don't really care. Uh, please stop, though. Um, okay, the red light is a bit of further away. Yeah, yeah, so we're here. Overshot the platform. Actually, we've shot the platform for quite a long while. But there we go. We did it. I believe that's the end. Oh, three stars. Okay. So I did slightly worse than I did last week. With my three stars. Oh, well, considering that scenario, I probably wasn't going to get a very good... I mean, eh, I probably still could have... Actually, no, here's the thing, though. I broke the speed limit twice. If I didn't... If I was actually paying attention, I didn't break the speed limit, I'm going to get that paint, train penalty, I probably would have gotten three, uh, five stars. Hmm. Oh, well. Next time, though, on trains, we won't actually be playing a scenario. We're going to be doing some stuff in free roam. Uh, you guys... Well, for right now, we'll have no idea what I'm talking about, but don't worry, when the, once the video comes out, you'll understand everything. But, in the next Train Street video, though, when we're playing a scenario, don't worry, I'll actually try to do it properly this time, and I'll actually attempt to get, like, a 5 out of 5 stars, and I actually pay attention to what I'm doing, depending on how boring or how cool the scenario is, although, let's be honest, I'll probably make some other mistakes, but... That's all for this video, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, I know it was long, but, as I said, that's the whole scenario, so I can't really help it, but... Anyway, I hope you, and again, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in whatever I make next.